Alright, it's been a while since I've done anything on the Mintathon, and today I am going to do a review of Cinnamon on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. If you're using Linux Mint and you wish to install Cinnamon, it is as easy as running sudo apt-get install Cinnamon. It just doesn't get any easier than that, folks. If you are using Ubuntu or any of its derivatives, simply add the following PPA right here to your listing. Now, to get to this page that I'm showing on the screen, Simply point your web browser to cinnamon.linuxmint.com forward slash question mark page underscore ID equals 61 and it is here. There are also instructions for installing on Fedora, OpenSUSE, and of course if you are running Arch Linux like I am, RTFM. All right, and then of course you have Gen 2 instructions. You can get the source code or you can install on Git. Now, I've been behind the times a little bit and I haven't even had a chance to really look at this. And boy, let me tell you, I am impressed. I love the way the new cinnamon looks. So, let me go ahead and log out of this session here and then we will proceed with this. All right, let's have a look at this gem here. Okay, now, on the lower right corner, you get a desktop switcher, a calendar applet, and uh, I like how that looks. It's very nice. You also have date and time settings as well in here. Uh, a laptop battery. You get a network manager and the uh, volume control. You can also change your sound settings here as well. If you're using Linux Mint, of course, you get a link to your update manager here. All right, now, you also have a link to Nautilus. You get a terminal link, a link to the Firefox web browser, and then, of course, the Cinnamon settings. Did you notice the effect when the window opened? That was pretty neat. Okay, now, we can change the menu text to anything we want. And you can choose the panel layout that you want. You can have the panel on the bottom, on the top, or both. Good stuff. And then, of course, you can adjust the... Uh, you can show uh, week dates in the calendar if you want to. You can also change the format. Uh, this, this link will show you what you need to do there. Okay, and then overview. You can uh, enable the overview icon. That is the infinity symbol here. And then this is also the hot corner as well. In themes, you only get cinnamon for right now, but there'll probably be more coming up. And then, of course, in effects, there are tons of them. Uh, all you have to do is uh, choose the effect you want, none, scale, or fade. And there are tons of different transitions in here that you can play with. Uh, so have fun with those. This should keep you a little busy for a while, I expect. And then, of course, uh, in applets, you get accessibility, rec recent documents, removable drives, trash, and display. No extensions come with this just yet, but the thing is, I wouldn't be surprised if people are releasing them right now. This is truly an amazing replacement for GNOME 3 that so many people have uh, really had a level of dissatisfaction for. So on a 10 point scale where 1 means poor and 10 means superior, I want to give Cinnamon a 10 plus. Very good work here. Pressing this icon in the upper left or just going into the hot zone here will actually lay out all the windows that you have on your desktop nicely. This is truly an amazing uh, piece of work here. If you thought this was useful, please comment and subscribe. Google+, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.